Hello, hello, Crafty Cradle fam. I am coming at you with my six year painting progress video. I made one of these last year when I painted Severus Snape in gouache, and this year we're going back to watercolor to gauge my progress thus far as a painter. I do this every year and I find it a fantastic metric of gauging my progress with painting and uh, anatomy, drawing, etc. I find that this exercise is just a really good look back to see where I am and also just a really good painting to get me started for the year. So I do this every year in January and I find that it just gets me excited and interested in art for the year. No matter what, I love painting Severus Snape because he is one of my favorite fictional characters and every year I try to choose a more and more challenging reference photo so that I am challenging myself in addition to kind of gauging my, my progress. I do this because I feel like I would get very bored painting the same portrait every single year, though I do know that some painters or some artists do that uh, to gauge their progress, which I do think there is value in that as well. I personally just prefer to pick a different reference. You can do this however you choose as an artist or not at all if you so choose. Uh, I do just think that it is a great way to just kind of measure where you've come and get less hard on yourself over whether you've had a bad piece or a bad year of art or just haven't completed as much art as you wanted. Uh, I know that I get down on myself a lot and I know that artists kind of have the, the tendency to do that and so I think that this can be a really fun exercise to kind of get yourself out of that mindset and into an appreciation mindset for what art is for you. Personally, I love painting to get myself in a mindset of artistic process, I guess, but also just to get me out of the very technical mindset that the rest of my life really demands. <laughs> I am in a very technical role at work and I, while I love math, science, numbers, etc., uh, the artistic and creative side of painting and just connecting with art and colors and just trying to represent something in my own artistic way really helps focus and ground me for, you know, another year of that really technical work on the, on the other side. So personally, I just find that this is a very stabilizing exercise and I highly recommend it for anyone else. Now let's talk about this painting. I was not super happy with the sketch. I love how his face turned out and individually how his body turned out, but together the proportions are just so wildly off that it didn't come out great. That said, I think process-wise, this is the easiest that a painting has ever gone for me as far as matching the colors to what I wanted and like just getting the process down in general. There was never a point at which I thought, hmm, what should I do next? I just moved from one part of the painting to the next and knew exactly what to do. And I think that that in and of itself is the progress that I saw in this piece. I think that process wise, this piece just worked so much better than any of the previous ones have. And so for that reason, I do believe that this is the best one in the series so far. I'll show the comparison again at the end so that you can see them all lined up together year by year from 2018 to 2023. And I, I do think that although it can be difficult to pick out a specific improvement from each year, that overall the trend has gotten more positive over the years and I have improved as a painter, which for everyone is just so important to reflect on and appreciate. Year three looked like it might not have been an improvement, but again, I think that the little process improvements can be important to embrace as well. The final piece might not look as good, but if it was easier to do, if you understood what you were doing better, if, you know, while you were creating, you were having an easier time overall, even if the final piece didn't come out the way that you necessarily wanted, I think that there is so much value in streamlining your process and understanding your materials, your process, everything about 
painting better. And for me, that's what this piece really represented was, wow, I've gotten to a point where this is no longer a question mark. It is an exploration and something that I really have a good feeling about. So I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm explaining it well enough, but for me, that's what this piece really represented. Also, I think although you might not think so, that is the best I've ever painted hair. A great way to start off the year <laughs> is to look and see how I have managed to almost achieve one of my art goals from last year, which was to get better at painting hair. Although I don't necessarily think that I'm there yet and I still want to achieve, you know, a better process for that. I think that the hair in this painting came out better than any painting that I've done previously. So that was a win in my book, regardless of how poor the proportions are or how, I don't know, poor the rest of the piece looks. That was a small win for me as well. I would love to hear in the comments if you guys do a similar exercise. If you have something that you use to gauge your progress in art or any other kind of artistic medium, music, etc. What do you do to gauge your progress throughout the year and see whether you're improving or not? Personally, I find that this is such a useful tool and I have started to implement this in really every facet of my life. I have a, a metric for success and just a way to look back to see if I am improving or if I am stagnating because that can also happen in art as well. I know that people talk a lot about like same face syndrome and I think that that is in a way a symptom of not pushing yourself to improve and although improvement might not always be your goal I think that it can be a really useful tool um, to just gauge whether you're wasting your time I don't know <laughs> do you think that it would be a waste of time maybe it wouldn't be maybe that's just me always striving for improvement but regardless let me know if you do something similar I would really love to hear it because I'm always looking for new ways to push myself further and learn skills I guess this is specific to painting but again I do this in every facet of my life and if you've got any other kind of things that you do in your life, I would love to hear them. Let me know what you thought about this process, this painting, and any other comments that you want to leave down below. I do appreciate as we jump into 2023 and hit those art goals. Let's go team. <laughs> With that, I will leave you here to see the final piece in the lineup. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!